Okay guys, on this past year, we've been promoting mainly two hosting providers on our channel. So the main one that we use for all our WordPress tutorials is Hostinger, simply because it offers the best value and it's simply the best compromise between price and performances. Then we also promoted WPX.net, which is a premium managed WordPress hosting provider. Then we published a few videos on how to build a website using Elementor hosting. So this got me thinking, which one is the best to host your WordPress website? And to be able to test this, we needed some demo content. So I decided to make it a fair deal and have a heavy solution, a resource hungry solution. So I decided to install this one here. And this is a website that has dynamic content. So again, this is quite resource hungry. So with WPX, we are using this domain name here, travelwithmrweb.com. With Hostinger, we have a subdomain called travel.learnwithmrweb.com. And finally, with Elementor is this one here. So this is a temporary URL. Now, let me show you from the WordPress dashboard. So this is with WPX. As you can see, the full Crocro block suite is installed, including Elementor. And if you scroll down, as you can see, they are using W3 Total Cache to speed up the process. And then here we have Hostinger. So again, with Elementor installed and all the Crocobox suite. And as you can see with Hostinger, we have Lightspeed Cache. And then finally with Elementor, as you can see, we have the same thing installed. So Elementor, Elementor Pro, which comes with this version as well. And we have the full Crocoblock suite, except that here there is no uh, caching plugin. It's basically out of the box, just like that. Okay, very good. So first, let's address the price because this is clearly a very important factor in the decision making process. So let's start with WPX. So as you can see, they have WordPress hosting plans and also WooCommerce hosting plans. So we're going to go with the regular one here, WordPress hosting. And as you can see, they start at $20.83 per month. And this is basically on a yearly basis. And this is the one that we are going to use for this test. For Hostinger, as you can see, they start at $2.99 per month. And again, this is the one that we are going to use for this test. And finally, we have Elementor themselves. Let's have a look at their pricing plans. So right here, as you can see, the basic one is $9.99. And the one that we're going to use for this test is a basic one for one website and 10 gig of storage. And this one is $9.99 in euros, which is maybe 11 US dollars. Now let's find out the performances of those different hosting providers using Google PageSpeed Insights. So the first one here is Travel with Mr. Web. So this is the one hosted with WPX. So on mobile, we have a score of 41, on desktop 81. So mobile 41, so this is quite low to be honest. And on desktop 81, so this is acceptable. It's not good, but acceptable. So next, let's check Hostinger. So Hostinger on mobile, we have a score of 51, which is higher already. And on desktop 85, so it's not perfect but there is an improvement already. And finally, we have Elementor. So on mobile, 90 here. So this is absolutely very good. And on desktop, 100. So I cannot get any better than this. So what does that tell us? Well, basically a perfect score here with Elementor, which is quite amazing to be honest. And here with WPX81, this is a bit of a letdown considering the fact that this is a premium hosting provider. And for 299, well, that's basically what you would expect here with Hostinger. Now, to be honest, in WPX favor, uh, they also offer free website optimization, which is what I did. You know, as you can see, how can I start the optimization of my website? It is offered for free uh, once per website per customer. And this is what I did. So I placed a request here. So let me show you the new performances after the optimization. Very good. So this is the email they sent me. So as you can see, thanks for reaching out. I have checked the site and managed to optimize it with the help of the plugin dbloat and U image optimizer and then a few stats here as well. So let's put this to the test ourselves. So again on mobile 41 and desktop 81. So let's reanalyze this. Okay, so let's click on this. So there you go, guys, you can see on mobile 74 and on desktop, we are at 96. So this is a big improvement here, obviously, you know, and on mobile as well, that's gone up quite a bit. It was 41 to 74. So that's almost double the performances. So quite a good job they did there. Okay, so now let's consider how easy it is to install WordPress on each of those platforms and how long it takes as well. So with WPX from the admin dashboard, it requires five clicks in total to install WordPress and it only took 23 seconds to install it. With Hostinger, it required two clicks from the admin dashboard and only completed in 19 seconds. 
and finally elemental cloud five clicks in total and 26 seconds to install everything okay so next let's compare the support team and also how long it takes for them to answer and provide us with a solution okay so let's start with wpx maybe so i'm just gonna contact their support team and ask them a simple question okay start the chat there you go i'm gonna ask the question there you go and then i have a stopwatch here so i'm gonna start this and see how long it takes for them to get back to us oh he's already replying so what's that now six seconds if it maybe less okay he started typing oh should i let it, let it run maybe okay but that's the answer there you go anyways maybe 10 15 seconds we got the answer and everything so i'm just going to say thank you here perfect thanks very good so this was with wpx and as you can see ultra fast support team indeed and I'm going to ask the exact same question with hosting us. So as you can see, they usually reply within three minutes. So let's put this to the test. So I'm going to ask the exact same question. And there you go. So let me bring this um, stopwatch here and let's start it. So we got an answer here. This is a bot. Obviously, this is not a real interaction, but still we got the answer regardless, you know. So this is exactly what we needed. So I can consider this an answer within 30 seconds. And now let's try with Elementor. So let's click on the help sign here. New conversation. Before we get started, what's your name? David. Very good. So we need to enter our subscription ID. So I'm just going to put ID here and then the number. Very good. So need some face to face guidance. We're excited. Ta -da 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 -da. Would you like to hear more? No. Now I need a technical support, I suppose. Yes. And then hosting services. Migrate oh here migration and cloning. How do I migrate my existing site? Okay, so here as you can see, I was not able to chat with an actual person, a real person, but regardless, I got the information I needed. Okay, so now let's consider scalability. So is it easy or even possible to upgrade to a more powerful plan when needed? Because obviously, when you're starting up, well, the basic plan is absolutely fine. But what happens when you start getting more traffic? How easy is it to upgrade to the next one up? Very good. So with WPX, the entry level is the business one with one CPU core. If you want to upgrade to the next one up, you will move to two CPU core and three CPU cores. So this will greatly increase your performances. Now let's consider the WooCommerce plans as well. So right here with WooCommerce plans, you start with two CPU cores, move to three and then four for the hyperstore. And also the RAM will be increased from four gig to six gig to eight gig in total. And to upgrade with WPX, it's super easy. Go to your admin dashboard, click on this button here, upgrade. And then you can select which plan. So at the moment you have the Elite UK. So you might go to the Professional UK, then click continue. And that's basically it. And now with hosting or the premium plan, as you can see, these are standard performances. If you want to move to the next one up, it will increase your performances by up to five times. And with the cloud solution here, up to 10 times. So this is clearly the fastest. It's still very affordable. And with hosting, let's say if you have a business web hosting like I have at the moment and you want to move to the next one up, so a cloud startup, all you have to do is purchase a new plan and they will migrate all the website to your new server. And finally, with Elementor, the difference between basic business grow and scale is the amount of website that you can host. As you can see, one, one, up to three and up to ten. And also the storage space, the monthly visit allowed and also the monthly bandwidth. And with Elementor, it's very easy to upgrade your subscription as well. So this is the one that I just contracted now. All you have to do is click on this button here, upgrade. And as you can see at the moment, I'm on this one, the business plan. So I can move on to the next one up or this one if I wanted to. And for this, all you have to do is click on this button and I'll then be placed on a new hosting plan. So these are all the different aspects covered in detail. So in conclusion, which one is the best? Well, if you're looking for something cheap and cheerful, well, I suppose hosting is the best at $2.99 per month. You definitely can go wrong. Now, if you want premium support combined with managed server, then WPX is the one for you. And finally, if you want the best of both worlds, then clearly Elementor Hosting offers 100% page speed score and all of this for just $9.99 per month. And don't forget, included in that plan, you get Elementor Pro as well. So I'll leave that with you now. If you want to try any of these, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.